So let's just go to our front view again. And what we want to do is just make sure that that is facing forward. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go to the Create tab. And let's start by creating a box. So I'm just going to click on Box, click and drag in our viewport. And it doesn't matter about the dimensions because we're going to type them in. So here we're going to have 1300 centimeters by 2000 by 400. And I'm just pressing up and down to go between these dialog boxes. And then we're going to go to the modify tab. And in the drop down, I'm going to go to edit poly. I'm going to name our box backdrop. Okay, so now under the modify tab, we're going to select edge, select this back edge, and we're going to go to chamfer, click on this settings dialog box, and let's change this to 200. And I'm going to change this to 20 segments. And hit OK. If I press F4, you can see that we've added a nice gradient here. And I'm also going to just select this face and zoom in out. I'm going to delete this face. I also want to pull this backdrop forward. I'm just going to go out of the selection and pull that this way. Then we're going to add a V-Ray material to this backdrop. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard. And if your material editor looks different, you can go to compact or slate in modes. We'll just use compact for now. We'll go into slate later on. And I'm going to click on physical material. And we want to change this to a V-Ray standard material, which is here under V-Ray. So just select that and hit OK. And that's going to change that to a generic V-Ray material. Let's call that backdrop. And you just want to make sure your diffuse is on 128, which is quite a neutral gray. And I'm going to click on the backdrop and here assign material to selection. So now we have a gray V-Ray material on our backdrop.